everyone so you're gonna have to forgive me I'm like super sick again I have whatever my husband had <clears throat> so if I talk a lot it just all gets ugh, stuck up there so um TTW 23 yay and it's Wednesday thank the lord um my hair looks so red I just got it redone and um she's been doing a lot more red and when I got a little blonde streaked in there and for some reason with the way the light is in the room, it in the probably the shirt, my eyes look so blue. It looks so red, and I love it. I haven't really looked at it like this. Um. So, anyways, T things this week. T T W twenty three things this week. So afraid I didn't want to say the other acronym. Um. So. Um. I'm going. I'm winging this because I've watched a couple already, and I can't fully remember the questions but I think I do I think the first one was like any craft or hobby that you have and um I read a lot and um I research a lot and that's probably like my hobby um I love learning so I'm constantly on the computer like reading nutrition fitness um just health related articles um and I also read a lot so I read a lot of research books and, um, but I also read, you know, girly novels and all that junk. So, um, that's pretty much what I do in my spare time. Other than that, I, I don't craft. I'm not very good at it. Um, I've, I try, but I'm not very good. I should probably try more. I've done a couple Pinterest crafty things. Um, but if I'm not at home researching, reading, I'm at the gym working out. Um, that's my hobby. I have always been active. I started playing soccer when I was like three and a half, four years old. And I've just like continued being active throughout my whole life. I was probably like inactive the most my first two years of college because I was drinking a lot. Um, <laughs> but besides that, those are probably like the two least active years of my life. But since I got out of school, it's pretty much been my go-to. It's my hangout. It's where a lot of my friends are. Um, so we look forward to going to classes all the time together. So yeah, those are my hobbies. I'm not crafty. I want to learn how to crochet. My mom does it all the time and she makes beautiful pieces, but I don't have patience to sit there and craft. I never have. Um, I was in 4-H when I was younger, and we used to have to, like, make pillows and stuff, and I just have no patience to sit there and sew stuff, but maybe I'll learn. Maybe I need to learn that. Um, this, I think it, the second question was your favorite beauty product of the week, and I wanted to do my favorite products for this month, so you might see this again because I'm slightly obsessed with it. Um, when I went to the hairdresser, she used this conditioner, and it smelled like cake, and it was just phenomenal and I was like what the heck is that it smells so delicious and it's actually bedhead color goddess and it's for racy redheads or bodacious brunettes and I don't know if we can see the price but I actually only got it for $15 at Marshall's I think it might have been like a home goods but whatever same thing um so I was super pumped. It smells like cake. So I like love conditioning my hair. And it it's made a huge difference from the other stuff I was using, which was just like a cheap brand from Walmart. Um, and I know that um, it's supposed to like help make my color last longer. So hopefully it will. I mean, it lasted about, I didn't, look at how much blonde I got under there. Um, it didn't start fading I went a little more than six weeks, and you could barely, barely, barely see the top. I'm a blonde naturally, so you'll see me with, like, a bajillion different hair colors. Um, but I, I'm naturally, like, a dirty blonde, golden blonde color, and I've been every color underneath the sun. And my hair was actually going super blonde from the last color. So we don't – she doesn't use an actual color. It's just, like, a glaze, I think. I don't know. She tried to explain it to me, but – um. I, was, I, I don't know. I just change it so much. But I should be a hairdresser. I don't know why I go. I can do it myself. I just don't know what to buy and what colors and all that. So I don't know the chemistry behind hair coloring. But I could do it myself physically. I've done it before. So the third question is nail polishes. And actually right now, if you can see, I have Valentine's Day nails. A pink with glitter on top. 
Um, I am obsessed with glitter lately, and usually I just do the one nail. Um, but these are Revlon, and I actually paid a dollar forty nine for this one at um, Ocean State. I was super pumped because it goes for like five dollars at Walmart. And then this is the one that I have. You can kind of see it. Um, over my nails now. So I've been obsessed with glitter. I have a couple um, OPI ones that I've gotten. Um, what's that other brand? That Nicole brand or whatever that's kind of like the OPI. I forget. Um, I used to get my nails done all the time. And then it was just too darn expensive and stupid. And I don't know why I was doing it. Um. So I do my own nails, and I can do a lot of creative stuff. So um, whenever I get the chance, I try to do my nails. I have had people come up, and they're like, do you get your nails done? And I'm like, no, I do them myself. And they're like, wow, like how do you, how can you do that with your, your uh, doing your right hand with your left? And it's just it takes time and practice and practice. Um, but, yeah, so those are, like, my two. I love Revlon for, like, a decent – Nail polish that's not going to chip super quick. Revlon is really good. Um, they last a lot longer than some of the other brands that I have. So, um, especially when you can get it for a super discount price and not pay a lot of money for it. So, so yeah, that's my TTW23. Um, thank you, Lisa, for these three fabulous questions. Um, you kill it every week with awesome questions and... I'm so excited I jumped on the bandwagon with this. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I'm really kind of sad. On a side note, um, I'm supposed to go to a conference on Saturday for my Pampered Chef business. And we're supposed to get a blizzard on Friday. So, um, yeah. That might not be happening. So, we'll see. Um, right now, well, yesterday it was 2 to 4 inches. And now it's 8 to 12. So, uh, I hate snow. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of not happy about that. But I don't know why I live where I live because I hate snow. But it seems like snow is everywhere this year. But I'd so rather live on a tropical island that's not hot but, like, warm with beautiful water. Um, <laughs> I'm just not a winter person at all. I love spring and, like, when it felt like spring, I think it was last week, I was, like, in heaven, and I was so excited, and then it went away, and it's been freezing ever since, so, yeah, oh, and, like, I got a new bed, I'm so excited, it's behind me, nothing's hung on the walls yet, because we painted the room, which I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but, well, actually, you can, because my last video was tan, I don't know why I said that, um, or a couple videos ago. It's tan. Um, we painted it gray. We got a white bed. And my bed is like four feet tall. So I have to like jump up to get on it. But I love it. It's cute and it's adorable. And we have to hang stuff back up. Oh, and I got these awesome. Well, that one's really crappy looking. But because my husband did it. But I have to fix them. I got new curtains. Um, they're like dark blue. They're the ones you tie at the bottom. I could have showed you mine. The one I did is a lot better. But... Um, we've just been in a rush ever since we got everything up and we painted and we got the bed delivered and, and all that junk. So, yeah, so that's it. So that's all. I'm done rambling. Um, I will talk to you guys later.